in the light reaction light energy is converted into chemical energy in the form of ATP and NADPH now this is not the main aim of photosynthesis the main aim of photosynthesis is to manufacture food so when does food get manufactured well let us see beyond the light reaction well the energy stored in ATP and NADPH is utilized to manufacture food and this was proposed by scientist Melvin Calvin now unlike the light reaction this process uh, does not require the light energy and so is known as the dark reaction but does dark reaction occur only during the night time well no dark reaction is actually a light independent process but it can occur even in the light actually it happens simultaneously with the light reaction phase an exception to this fact is that in xerophytic plants which are desert plants dark reaction that is uptake of carbon dioxide and its fixation and photosynthesis do not take place simultaneously to reduce evaporation stomata remains closed during the daytime in the xerophytic plants these plants take up carbon dioxide in the night and store it in an intermediate form which is utilized during the daylight to prepare food now how does food get prepared in the dark reaction well at the end of the light reaction NADPH and ATP are formed which comes out of the grana to the stroma now in the stroma carbon dioxide is taken is uh, taken in so these NADPH molecules and ATP molecules together with carbon dioxide form sugar in the stroma so since this dark reaction was proposed by scientist Calvin this process is also known as the Calvin cycle so ATP from the light reaction provides energy to the carbon dioxide that is taken from the atmosphere and the NADPH also from the light reaction reduces this carbon dioxide to form sugar which is the main aim of photosynthesis so since a biomolecule is formed this reaction is known as a biosynthetic reaction so dark reaction is also known as a biosynthetic reaction 